Do you know what is TCIR? What is DART? What are the important IS related questions asked in safety interview? Hi, I'm Shivam. These all are rapid fire questions asked in safety interview. I'm going to answer all the 21 most rapid fire questions asked in safety interview. So let's be with me to have understanding of all the 21 questions. Let's get started. Rapid fire safety interview question and answer. Question number one. What is the IS code for safety net? It is IS11057 invented in 1984 year. Question number two. What is the specification of safety net as per IS11057? As per IS11057, the first type of net is cache net. The specs of this net is the border dia will be 12 mm, uh, inner mesh size will be 75 by 75 mm, inner mesh dia will be 4 mm, overlay net will be 10 by 10 mm made of SDPE material. Type 2 of net is overhead net. Spec of this overhead net is the border dia is 12 mm, mesh size is 75 by 75 mm. Inner rope dia is 8 mm. Oval layer net is 10 by 10 mm. There may be a third layer net which is made of monofilament net with splatter resistant made of 120 GSM. Third type of net is vertical net. Specs of this net is border dia of 12 mm size. Inside rope dia is 2 mm. Mesh size is 25 by 25 mm. Question number 3. What is a DART as per OSHA? DART refers to days away restricted or transferred. This is the formula to calculate the days away restricted or transferred after an incident, which is number of days away due to top incident multiplied by 2 lakhs divided by employee hours world. What is TCIR or TRIR? It refers to total case incident rate or TRIR refers to total reportable incident rate. This is the formula to calculate the incident rate which says number of LTI injuries or illness multiplied by 2 lakhs divided by main hours worked. Question number 5. What is the IS code for computation of frequency rate and severity rate for industrial injury and classification of industrial accidents? That is IS 3786. Recently amended in year of 2021. What is fire load? Fire load is a calorific energy of the whole content contained in a space including with fencing of the walls, partitions and the ceilings. The formula of fire load calculation is sum of the heat release rate multiplied by its quantity. Where Fire load is the total heat release potential of the combustible material in the area, typically measured in kilowatts. Heat release rate is the amount of energy release per unit of mass of combustible material measured in kilowatts per kilogram. Quantity represents the weight or volume of the combustible material present in the area. To calculate the fire load, you would need to apply this formula for each combustible material and then sum up the results of to obtain the total fire load for the space. What is the SR, FR, IR formula as per IS 37 H6 which is severity rate, frequency rate and incident rate formula. The severity rate of calculation for an incident as per IS 37 H6 is number of Mendes loss due to LTI multiplied by 1 million divided by mean hours volt. Incident rate formula is number of LTI multiplied by 1000 divided by average number of person deployed. Frequency rate formula is number of lowest time injuries multiplied by 1 million divided by main hours worked. Question number 8. What is the IS code for CO2, DCP and mechanical form fire action users? For CO2, IS 2878. For DCP fire action user IS2171, for mechanical form IS10204. Question number 9. 
which is the codal reference for safety color and sign used in safety posters on display. It is IS-9457 in which mandatory prohibition signages are displayed and described. Question number 10. What is the stacking height of construction material and components referring to codal references? The codal reference for stacking of construction material is IS-4082. Stacking height of construction material from floor is Cement bag 10 bags can be stacked from floor. Floor tile or for roof tile or wall tile for staking height is 1 meter. For block height, the staking height is 1.2 meter from ground. For bricks, the staking height is from ground is 10 bricks. Still timber can be stacked 150 mm above the ground. Question number 11. What is the GHS standard? What are the 9 hazard pictorogram classification? The GHS, which is globally harmonized system of classification and labeling of chemicals, makes use of standardized pictograms to visually represent specific hazard categories. It has the 9 hazard pictogram in which the first pictogram talks about the health hazard where carcinogenic mutagenicity uh, reproductive tox toxicity, respiration sensitizer, all these comes under. Second pictogram is for flame, in which flammable self-heating emits flammable gases, self-reactive gases type hazards category comes. The third one is exclamatory marks, where skin sensitizer, irritation, acute toxicity will come. The fourth one is gas cylinder. The fifth one is corrosion. The sixth one is exploding bomb where explosive self reactives or organic peroxide will come. The seventh one is for flam over the circle. The eighth one is environmental or non mandatory, which could be the example of aquatic toxicity. The ninth one is skull and cross bonds where acute toxicity kind of hazard material will come. What is the NFPA diamond chemical labeling system? The NFPA, National Fire Protection Association, Diamond Labeling, also known as the NFPA 704 standard, is a labeling system used to convey the hazard of particular chemical of material. The diamond shaped chart is divided into four colored sections, each representing a different aspect of the material hazard. Here is an overview of the NFPA diamond chart. It has the four sections, four diamond sections, where the first diamond section is for fire hazard, which is mentioned in the red category. It has 0 to 4 uh, categories, where 0 is for will not burn and 4 is for below some degree Fahrenheit. The second diamond uh, is for instability hazard or reactive hazard, where 0 to 4 is the category has been mentioned, for which 0 is the stable and fourth one is may detonate. The third one diamond category is special hazard or specific hazard where acidic alkanic corrosion oxidizer radiation hazard will come under. The fourth one is for health hazard mentioned in blue category or blue color where zero is the normal material and fourth rating will be for deadly health hazard. Question number 13. What is the storage limit of gas cylinder is for gas cylinder rules 2016. Under gas cylinder 2016, the cylinders which are flammable and non-toxic can be stored 25 in numbers or 200 kg. The example for these cylinder is hydrogen. Second category is the cylinder which are non-toxic and non-flammable can be stored 200 in numbers. The example for this kind is carbon dioxide cylinder, nitrogen, Oxide, nitrogen cylinder, helium cylinder. The third type of category of cylinder is toxic gas cylinders, which can be stored in five in numbers. The example is ammonia chlorine. The fourth one is LPG cylinder, which can be stored 100 kg. The fifth one is for acetylene cylinder, which can be stored 25 in numbers. 
without any requirement of license. If we need the more than storage of the cylinders, then we need to go for the license. Question number 14. What are the nine classes of hazardous substances mentioned in Central Motor Vehicle Rules 1989? As per Central Motor Vehicle Rule 1989, when we are transporting uh, hazardous or dangerous goods, then we need to obtain these and mention these diagrams over the transportation vehicle, which is for first is explosive, second one is for flammable liquids, third one is for flammable solids, fourth one is for flammable gases, five one is for oxidizing substances or organic peroxide, sixth is for toxic and infectious substances, seventh is for radioactive substances, eighth is for corrosive substances, nine is for the miscellaneous or hazardous substances. These all pictograms have been shown in the picture. These pictograms are used to describe or display over the transportation vehicles. What is the fuel classification and storage limit of fuel under Petroleum Act 1934 and Petroleum Rules 2002? In Petroleum Act 1934, the class A type fuel is which has the flash point below 20 degree, degree centigrade. The example of this kind of class A fuel is petrol. The storage of class A fuel at project or premises is 30 liter at a time without any license. The class B fuel is the liquid with flash point between 23 degree to 65 degree. The storage limit of this kind of class B fuel is 2500 liter and 1000 liter at a single point. The example of class B fuel is HSD or diesel. The type C class fuel which is the flash point above 65 degree. The storage limit for class C fuel is 45,000 liter. The example of class C fuel is LDO. Question number 16. As per codal reference, what is the mounting height of fire extinguishers, what is the travel distance for extinguisher? IS-2190 talks about selection, installation and maintenance of portable fire extinguishers. As per IS-2190, mounting height for fire extinguishers should be mounted above the 1 meter from ground. The travel distance as per 2190 is action user should be seated in such a way that it is not required to travel more than 15 meter to reach the action user. Question number 17. What is the IS code for MSDS and how many sections it cover? For IS code, MSDS is IS 17889 Material Safety Data Sheet Guideline. It has 16 sections where the first section is for chemical product and identification, section 2 is hazard identification, section 3 is composition information, section 4 is first aid measures, section 5 is first aid measures, 6 is for accidental release, 7 is for handling and storage, section 8 is for exposure control, section 9 is for physical and chemical properties, section 10 is stability and reactivity, section 11 is toxicology information, section 12 is ecological information, section 13 is disposable consideration, section 14 is transportation information, section 15 is regulatory information, section 16 is for the other information. Let's talk about the question number 18. What's the trump card? The trump card is required when transporting dangerous goods or hazardous substances. It has the important safety related information of hazardous substances and dangerous goods. It has a clear picture about the hazard. A transport emergency card or trump card is a document that provides vital information for emergency responders in the event of a transportation incident involving hazardous material. Or dangerous goods. It's a typically carried by the driver or prominently displayed on the transport vehicle to ensure immediate access to critical information. As was shown in this picture, this is under Central Motor Vehicle Rules 1989 under Rule Number 132 and 5. This is the trunk card format where cargo information, nature of hazard, protective devices, emergency actions, releases, fire, and first aid measures has to be displayed with the trunk card. 
Question number 19. What's the code of safety for excavation work? It is IS3764, which is the safety for excavation work. Let's talk about the question number 20. What's the hazardous process as per BOCW rules 1998? There are five processes has been described as hazardous process under BOCW Act and rules 1998. The first one hazardous process is roof work. Second hazardous process is steel erection. Third hazardous process is work under or over the water. Fourth hazardous process is demolition. Fifth hazardous process is work in confined space. Let's talk about question number 21. As per OSHA, what's the degree of slope for excavation work to be maintained? Further to OSHA, there have been described or detailed or talked about the classification of the soils, which are stable rock, type A soil, type B soil, type C soil. The soils has been distributed or classified as per the compressive strength of the soils. This talks about the stable rock has to be given the maximum slope of 90. Type A soil where the compressive strength is 144 kPa for that 53 degree slope to be maintained. Type B soil is 42 to 144 kPa for which 45 degree slope to be maintained. Type C soil is which compressive strength less than 48 kPa for which 34 degree slope has to be maintained. In which maximum slope horizontal versus vertical has been mentioned. Slope bearing Soil bearing capacity has been mentioned, which is need to be referred. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel.